They're all set and they're off and racing. Raptor Island got off to a good start. So did Donny T. Those two share the early advantage. This time round is racing up in third. Trippies tune Greek Mafia and Concerto. Then Royal Statesman followed by Pantador. Further back is Lady Zundra. For the Boykies is outpaced in the early stages. A dozen lengths off the leader with Big Five. Further back and then came Lontano. But it's the two fancied runners out in front with 500 to go. Donny T by length and a half from Raptor Island in second. This time round is third. A long way back to Greek Mafia in fourth. Then Trippies Tune and Concerto. Those are the ones that matter with 300 metres left to go. Donny T has a two-length advantage over Raptor Island in second. Then came this time round followed by Concerto in fourth. But Donny T goes strongly with 120 to go. It's three to four lengths clear. And Donny T and Samunga Kamala run them ragged. Donny T will beat home Raptor Island this time round third. Concerto, Greek Mafia, Trippies two, and then Big Five Royal Statesman. Eighth career start, but it only is second here in the Eastern Cape. Samunga Kamala rode it to absolute perfection and looks to be the man to follow, along with trainer Gavin Smith here today. Back to the studio. Well, favourite backers in the Eastern Cape will clap their hands after the running of the first as Donny T comes home to take a victory for the Gavin Smith Yard, getting Smunga Kamala underway with the in the winner's box as well. I'm joined here by Timber, who is representing the groom No Man, who looks after Donny T. He's done a great job this afternoon, and as a result, 1,500 rand richer. Timber, thanks very much. Thanks so much. Smunga's going to step in and have a chat with me now. Always a great way to get your day started by finding that number one box. And Smunga, I really thought a lot of that ride because it's easy to say your horse has got pace, but you took into account the horse that looked the danger and uh, you made sure that he didn't get to use his advantages, which was pace. Yes, uh, uh, I had to make sure that I get a flyer out the gate mm. and then... Uh, uh, once I saw the other horse was almost like uh, uh, I fell in uh, on my side. I thought, uh, you know, my guy still has uh, a little bit of in him, and if he wants to make it a race, we can go. So yeah. I'm sure you can see from the uh, from the 800 to to the 500, we opened it up, and uh, I still came in the straight. Uh, just played with him a little bit, but. Uh, uh, he, he's still looking for company, yeah. and I felt uh, as they come in and pull up, he still wants to get going. So it was quite impressive uh, with the pace and, yes, uh, the, exactly. and the way he, uh, he, uh, he held himself to us. And uh, yeah, big thanks to Smith Racing Team, big thanks uh, to um, the uh, Banda family, and also to the Governor family. And uh, you know, we do our best. Uh, everyone, <laughs> everyone wants winners, but uh, it's just <laughs> it's so hard. But uh, once they, once you get them on your side, you must uh, take every win and. Uh, just cherish it. So yeah, big thanks again, my sponsors, Maurice Fontaine, Vakabos Drift, well done to them. And uh, to the grooms, you know, that do the hard work behind the scene. And, uh, you know, it's been raining here and the guys have been battling with work. Been yeah, it hasn't been pleasant for the guys and also for the horses. So yeah. they've uh, stuck it out and uh, they made sure that, the, you know, we're, we put in a little bit of work and uh, we can get the winners out of it. So yeah, big thanks to everyone concerned and uh, yeah, Bling fans. Whoop, whoop. That's the shout out that the fans want to hear when the favourite comes home under Smunga Kamala and Donny T has done exactly that. And Gav, got to say a big thanks to you for your confidence. It's hard. We are short of work. You, uh, the poly's wonderful, don't get me wrong, but you can't work on it every day. Some horses, you're not quite sure how they're going to come into this race. You still earmarked him as a runner with a huge claim this afternoon. And uh, he's done you proud. He has, no. He won, he won a very nice race and emphatic victory. And I'm just chuffed for the guys, um, for Sitha and for Solly. Very well done to them. And I've got to say as well, I just really like him. He doesn't expend his energy on anything other than the race. He's so calm and relaxed in the parade ring. There's only one word to describe him going down, workman life. He's just a very chilled individual. He's actually a very lovely horse. And yeah. He's lovely to work with. Um, he does get a little bit tense at the races, but you can see like, he, he's still having a look at things. Yes. And, I, and I do feel he's going to train on a bit. He's still a little immature in the mind, yeah. and he's learning what it's all about. I think when the penny drops properly, he's going to be a nice horse. Oh, win full of merit. And more to smile about is Corin. 
Warren comes in with the Racehorse Owners Association member. We've got a payout there of 7,500 Rand to uh, Miss Barna. So congratulations to her. And Gav, before I let you run away, I know you have put it out there with the chat on Wednesday. And as well, if you go into social media, your Facebook page is really helpful. Uh, the horses that you picked out on the Facebook page were Dawn of Gold, Easy Living, Adita, and First Origin. I think you got it right there. Yeah, yeah those, those we feel we got our biggest chances. There are some uh, in with quartet shots as well. Yes, all through um, the day, competitive. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's a nice day's court. Well, good way to start. Best foot forward. Well done. Thanks so much, and thanks to our sponsors, Hollywood. Brilliant. Gavin Smith Yard gets underway with a good winner uh, being in the way of Donny T. Very well done to Mr. Governor and Miss Barner. Again, good ride from Smunger. Uh, he's used all the aces that Donny T. has to uh, overcome the pace of his main danger, and they have found the winner's box. Good to hear positive comments coming from both jockey and trainer, and there is perhaps more to come here from Donny T., so mark this one up for the future.